having a beautiful day so this is going to be your love energy reading a bonus weekly reading so i will be doing readings like this every week if you ask me what is this reading all about so this reading is all about all the three situations if you are in a committed relationship you can watch this if you are a single and if you want to find out what uh, your future holds for you or what your past person uh still feeling for you then you can watch this or also for those of you who are in the separation state and who are still feeling like this might be a twin flame or a soulmate connection you can also watch this so i have three piles here so the first pile is for those of you who are in this committed relationship with this person and uh, there is no proper communication between this person but still you are in a relationship which leads you to some kind of a confusion if this person actually loves you or they are going to leave you or whatever it is okay so for those of you who are in a committed relationship please watch this reading i mean i'll be a uh, starting this reading right away explain after these two decks okay so the second deck is all about for those of you who are in a separation state so if you're in a separation state you can fast forward and watch the reading for this pile and for the third uh set this is for those of you who are in the singles energy and uh, maybe you're thinking about your old person or you're more drawn to this uh, new person and how does this person think about you, what are their feelings towards you, everything like you want to know what they're actually going to do in the future to come towards you, whatever it is you can watch uh, for this uh, set, okay? So I will give all the timestamps for these three sets here right on the screen guys so that you can see and you can watch it all the timestamps will be there in the description or in the comments so somewhere i will give the timestamp so that you can fast forward to the three decks to watch the reading okay and yes guys so this is a general reading so please take it as it resonates i will be starting off with a pile number one for those of you who are in this committed relationship with this person and you want to know if this person is the one you want to know stuff about this person so let us see what we have here wow we have the moon so the first card question i asked for the first card was what is this person's energy okay the person energy we have the six of cups so they maybe are trying to bond with you trying to come towards you okay maybe this relationship didn't have a lot of bonding happening it was somewhat a very physical connection guys because i can see how that this person is still um wanting to put efforts to bond with you because with the six of cups especially with this card I can see here that this person is not bonding well with you or that bonding aspect was not there before and they're really trying to bond with you. They're trying to get to know you. Maybe they'll even invite you to, they'll make tea or coffee or they'll make smoothies for you. They'll cook a lot. I mean, they just want to bond with you, but maybe that childhood traumas they had a lot of childhood traumas or something like that guys which is definitely affecting this person from bonding together with you that can also be a reason why this person is uh, not exactly the way you imagine them to be okay so they they are like they did have a lot of childhood traumas and these traumas are affecting this person mentally physically emotionally and maybe this is the reason why they're not able to bond with you and it's not just about bonding i can also say here that this person is not able to bond in a deeper level with anybody around them maybe because of their childhood traumas of some kind of issues that happened in their school days okay but with the moon card moon is all about emotions all about feelings so this person's definitely coming to bond with you they're just trying to bond with you so after watching this reading you might find like some hints that yes this person is trying to bond with me so you might find out that this person is trying to bond with you okay and you might even come and comment down below that yes this is happening okay because i can see that they are making efforts even though it is just like they're taking small steps to come and bond with you they're still making the effort okay 
so that is what i can see here especially with the six of carbs seven of pentacles they're kind of scared that if they start bonding with you they would lose themselves okay they would lose that potential they feel like if they are very very nice very very affectionate to you they're scared that they would lose their potential they're scared that they would uh, something would happen to them i don't know why this person's having such fears but definitely i can see here that this person is not coming towards you because they're scared that they would lose themselves if they come too much to you maybe they feel like you would lose interest in them there are certain other aspects also affecting this person especially even some people around them like their friends like their colleagues i don't know guys uh, people who are working with them trying to change this person's mindset by not coming towards you okay so those of you who are in a committed relationship this is what i can see here thank you all so much guys please go ahead move to the general energy reading that i'll be giving just after this uh, reading is complete okay so this is over now so kind of like we'll keep it aside so for those of you who are in this separation state how is this person uh energies that love towards you what are their feelings towards you so i can see here that they were the emperor in reverse this person definitely is someone who is not responsible enough to handle the situation if they were responsible they wouldn't have left you or if this person was responsible they wouldn't have acted the way they acted okay so if they called you irresponsible i mean like they are the one who is irresponsible they are the one who is immature so they have no rights to call you or no rights to act like however they acted in case for a few of you this person was all nice all good they kind of ghosted you and you just feel so betrayed you didn't know what mistake you've made it was not a proper breakup then i definitely see her with a five of swords that they are trying to make things right they're trying to make things right or maybe when you were together they were trying to make things right and they were trying to be with you or maybe you took this relationship to the next level without asking them because they were too scared that um uh, you would start ruling them or uh, this person was generally very very scared of this relationship they had with you i don't know what was going on guys i don't know um uh, what happened between you both but definitely i can see here that this person was scared there was definitely totally scared that you might leave them or they were scared that something might happen to you both or they were scared that they would develop too much feelings on you and also this person was not ready for a committed relationship but then you were so into it you were so willingly accepting this person you were ready for a, a committed relationship but this person wasn't and therefore they plan to leave you so there are many situations here obviously many are watching so i might get most of your energies here but for most of it, it was a slow breakup i mean one day it kind of like the fight bursted and this i mean everything came out all the truth came out up front and then you guys broke up that is how this totally happened because we have the tower here which means a breakout situation like one day everything was perfect everything was good until one day everything like splashed up everything came about all the truth splattered on this person's face or on your face and you managed to leave this person or they managed to leave you but even though this person ghosted you at some point of time they feel that burst they feel like they felt like something would go wrong or they felt somebody told uh, bad things about you somebody bitched about you so it's not actually only with you do it can also be with other people maybe they don't like you both being together which can cause this relationship to die so there are many reasons why you guys could have broken up because there are many people and take it as it resonates guys because everybody's watching this this can be uh 
Fuck, there are many people who are trying to separate you both. That is also what I can say here. And this person especially was not mature enough to think clearly. And they kind of like, they agreed to whatever others told them and reacted on a particular situation. Okay. We can see, I got that situation because we can see the house here is being torn down by the lightning. But if you see houses down and on these sides, it's all fine. But the house on top got hit by the lightning. So it means like you were growing with this person like very well. You were very well settled with this person. You had a wonderful life with this person. And all the others were jealous of you. And because of that jealousy... This is what happened and they tried to separate you both and the plan was success. Okay, so that is what I can see here for those of you who are in a separation state right now, guys. Okay, now I will be moving on to the pile number three or the set number three for those of you who are in a singles energy. So uh, for those of you who are singles, guys, you just must understand that this is a general reading. So take it as, as it resonates. It can, I can uh, read one of your ex's energy or it can be your future partner's energy. So take it as it resonates. So we have the Knight of Cups, I mean, King of Cups in reverse, the temperature, Queen of Wands. Wow, this is cute. Okay, so somebody lost emotions gradually. So this can be a twin flame or a soulmate relationship. But this person lost emotions gradually for you. You lost emotions gradually for this person. I don't know how this relationship went. But definitely with the King of Cups, one person lost emotions for the other person. And the other person here, if you can see, this is a yin or a yang connection is sitting with a bowl. It's thinking about the memories that you share, thinking about the love that you had with this person, whatever it is. The one person is kind of like dreaming, thinking and kind of suffering in or inward thinking about all the memories and stuff like that but the other one here is lo losing emotions they're going on partying enjoying the life that is how this person is okay and with the queen of wands i can see here that with the queen of wands energy Somebody, whether it's you or this person, went on with their dreams. They started doing what they love to. Maybe if you like to play music, you started uh, getting interested in music. If you like cooking, you started uh, liking that. If you like um, painting, you started doing that. If you like any kind of craft work, you've started working on it. So that is again what I can see here. So you guys are kind of concentrating on your life, doing what you're supposed to do what you're supposed to manifest that's how you are okay you're going towards your goals going towards your dreams and yes that is what i can see here i don't get anything from like your person's energy or something i'm just getting a past relationship energy so anyways guys let me pick out two more cards to find out what exactly your future is going to look like okay how is your future going to look like Well, we have the four of wands in reverse, so I don't see here that you're going to marry really soon. But there is a lot of dreams that are coming into reality for you. Whatever you've dreamed of is kind of hitting the reality and it's really a good beginning for you guys because you've been dreaming for a long time and things were not going good. Things were going really dull and numb. But right now, you, uh, some things are happening really good in your life. Things are turning out really beautifully for you. And that is it, guys. That is all I can say here. So thank you all so much for joining me here. And I will see you all tomorrow, guys. Bye. If you like this reading, make sure to watch my weekly monthly and pick a card readings that i post on my channel and also subscribe to my channel guys bye
my beautiful beautiful libras how are you guys doing let us start off the reading for you guys libras for your general and love energies for the day libras what is coming up guys your general and love energies a romantic cycle new romantic cycle begins for your general energies don't let pride get in your way wow so libras um you are very boastful or this person is very boastful this new person is very boastful about this relationship about you i mean they they want every single person to know who they're with they want every single person to know about the relationship that they share with you that is the energy for this person okay i can see here for you guys uh libras that today is a day that you will be keeping your eyes open for all of those opportunities and good luck for you to i mean for it to strike in your direction i also see here that you're paying close uh close concentration to your instincts and intuition so that you can end up in a right place at the right moment you don't want to uh, be like before you don't want to let things go you don't want any kind of negative energy in your life all you need is positivity and love and that's what you're working towards and I can see that you're putting in a lot of effort too in working towards what you want in life. And also for you guys, I can see here that you might be traveling a lot. You might be even trying to uh, communicate with others, broaden your horizons. That is what I can see here generally with you guys, Libras. And for your person's energies, they, they want every single person to know that they love you. They do love you and they want every single person in that situation in their life wherever they are whatever they're doing to know that they love you and to know that you both are together this person is kind of even like very obsessed on you they're very obsessed with your energies they would definitely do anything to move this relationship quick with you and this new person is truly boastful I mean, they're speaking about, they're very prideful to have you. They're very boastful. They're boasting about you to everybody. That's the energy for this new person, Libra. So thank you all so much for joining me here, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.